Right, so nothing at the Pecunk homeworld. It's a shame. Um, whatever. I was, uh, I don't know, I just sort of forgot that they moved, actually. I don't know why we really went there, but I was wondering if there was still something there, because I don't know if we actually checked um, back at the homeworld once they'd been absorbed by the Pecunk, so, uh, by the Yehat, sorry. Um, so, you know, I thought I might as well check. So, whatever, there we go. So, uh, of course, we've got to um, actually start collecting some minerals, I think, at this stage, especially when we're going to go and go all the way over to the west side of the hyperspace map to go and see, well, go and see if the arrow were there or what's going on. And, um, so yeah, we're going to have to get a few minerals, get some more fuel. Don't know if the Mel Norme are in this game yet. Um, so I recall the only way you could find the Mel Norme was if you had run out of fuel um, in hyperspace, which you don't really want to do. Um, or called them with a hyperspace caster, but we don't uh, a hyperwave caster, but we don't have a hyperwave caster. So for now, I, I guess the Mel Norme aren't in the game. Um, that's my guess. But what they are, and we just have to be a bit stupid to get them. And we can also go to a super giant system, but I think after a certain stage in the game, they don't do they don't go to the super giant systems anymore. But whatever, that's fine. Um, we can just uh, start mining. So we're at Gamma Idoloni. Uh, so this is one of the new stars. Um, I've been told that mining in the old star systems. Uh, will yield you only 10% of what they were, 10% uh, of minerals as they were in Star Control 2, so not worth, it's not worth going over there again, because obviously they've been mined previously by the, uh, by the, uh, the Nova Mace or the, the Precursor Vessel, the Vindicator, um, so obviously they're going to have less minerals there. But it's very possible as well that you might have not mined there, I think it's just accounting, just, you know, sort of assuming that you've been and mined uh, around all the very nearby star systems to Earth, so it's just made them all 10% less. Um, it's going to be a pretty chilled episode this one really, um, more of one to sort of reflect on what the game's been like so far. It's been pretty fun, I think, I've had really good fun playing it so far. It's um, amazing how this is a game made pretty much by fans only, and it's HD and it's working really smoothly. And it's really, really nice. And I think um, this could be a really, really, really good game once it's um, once they got more people working on it and they and they start um, you know progressing a bit more. I mean, obviously the demo for this came out quite a while ago now, but um, again, I've been told by other people, and I haven't spoiled it for myself, but other people tell me without spoiling it for me that they've got a lot of plans, basically. Um, and I've also been told by by um, a lot of people. Well, I've been told by a lot of people they have plans, and I've been careful not to spoil it for myself. That's basically how it goes. And um, so yeah, I, I know that there's a lot that this game still has to offer if more people work on it. So that's why, if you can help them at all, please go in the link uh, in my comments below the video or in the link uh, in the description and um, try and get in contact with uh, the. Uh, people who are making or have made the demo so far um, because everyone wants to know what the hell is going on at Alpha Centauri everyone wants to know you know what Talon have bought for for lunch on Unzervolt you know these sort of things need to be answered um, so yeah uh, so there's just so much in this game that that, that can be built on I just think it's going to be amazing if it does get complete another game that I did see um, that um, that I've seen is a game called Eventuality, which is a three-dimensional star control based game, and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, just type it on YouTube, uh, Star Control Eventuality. Actually, I'll try to put a link in the description, I might forget. If I do forget, then just say in the comments. Um, but it should be in the description, the link to the video on Eventuality. Um, and it looks crazy. Again, it's like a demo, alpha, pre-alpha-ish. Um, and it looks it looks incredible. So, um, oh my god, a radioactive world, awesome. That looks amazing. I'm gonna have to start throwing away some minerals because I'm running out. But radioactives are just so much better that it's worth it. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely, it looks really, really good. And it's all 3D, and the models look awesome, and all the star systems. It's just, it looks like it's another thing that could be incredible. There's a lot of awesome stuff in the Star Control community right now that could possibly be 
really, really good. Um, and also, of course, there's Stardock working on their Star Control game. I wonder what that's going to turn out to be. Um, they seem to be pretty um, happy with the fact that they're making the game, and they're getting a lot of um, getting a lot of questions, and they're asking a lot of people about what they want in the game, stuff like that. And uh, they've got a forum that, they're, that they've basically dedicated to this new Star Control game. Apparently, it's going to be um, it's not going to be so much of a sequel to Star Control 2, um, because I think I, I'm guessing that they um, they acknowledge that. Project 6014 is um, is being made, um, so I think that they think that making a sequel would be a bit pointless. Um, there's also Star Control 3, of course, um, which I'm not going to play, uh, but because that's not uh, part of the canon, um, it was made by some other people, and um, a lot of people did like it, but most of the old Star Control uh, 2 fans, uh, and possibly even one. Um, didn't like the game because there was a lot of um, inconsistencies and a lot of things like that which didn't quite fit with the with the originals. Um, so that's sort of non-canon now. Um, but another reason I think that they've not done a sequel is because it's just more interesting to see um, how they can expand or build upon what you know Star Control already is. Because of course one of the great things about Star Control is that there's so many unanswered questions, there's so many uh, so much great backstory, there's so many things in the game that is just incredible and um, you know, you've got to be careful when you're making a game that you don't spoil that, but also you can build, there's still so much you can build on in these, in these regions of the game so it's going to be interesting, I think it starts really, f apparently it starts far back I might be wrong, but I, I think it starts way back, there's going to be precursor stuff going on and um, it's going to be really cool um, and I can't wait for that um, as well, so yeah, hopefully it's hopefully it's good. So there we go. There was a little bit of mining. We've filled up our one storage bay, which is a little bit annoying actually. I don't like that there's only one storage bay, but it's uh, an explorer vessel. It's not meant to be mining, um, but at the same time, it feels weird how it feels weird how um, you cannot get minerals from the Shamur because in the original game, Star Control 2, as soon as you had unlocked the Shamur and you got the the bomb, you had unlimited resources. You could buy whatever you want because their planet, after all, is just a crystal world. It's just got, it's just massively, you know, tons of exotic materials. Um, so it's interesting how in this game they're going to do the mineral thing because, of course, this is meant to be exploring like the entire like hyperspace map. Yet fuel is quite costly in this game. Maybe the fuel cost will go down in the uh, in the later version. But um, it's weird how you cannot really get that many minerals. Um, with the uh, discovery, unless there's a way to get minerals, or it's meant to make you rely more heavily on the Melnorme, stuff like that. Maybe, maybe there's some balancing that they want to do. But back at the uh, Sol Starbase, let's uh, go into the shipyard first of all. And uh, well, first of all, I want to get rid of this ship because I am not very good with the siren ships, to be honest. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever used one. Um, I might have used one in the battle against Webs back in episode 25. But I don't think I've actually ever used one. Good to see you again, Captain. Here we go. It's Commander Hayes. Minerals to offload. Should get us a good amount of our use. There we go. Not a bad job, Captain. Okay, that was fine. Goodbye. Goodbye, Captain. So that was fun. And, uh... My God, look how glorious Earth looks with that slave shield. It looks weird how it glows. It glows a bit in the Starbase, which is a bit strange, I think. But whatever, that's fine cool art. I love the artwork in this game. That's the thing about it. It's just, it's just, it's just so great to see it in HD, especially the mods. Um, but it, I think it's just amazing. Okay, so let's fill up on fuel. Let's see how much fuel we can get. don't know how much fuel it's going to take me to get across to Aralu, to the Aralu place, but we, of course we're going to have to have enough fuel to get back as well. So, so are we going to have enough to fill up our fuel tanks? Looks like we just about will. That's cool. That is really nice. Um, so that's good to, good to know. Um, I guess we did sell that ship as well though, so that sort of contributed towards having more fuel. So it was that choice, but since I know it's not going to be any use to me, I decided just to get rid of it. And um, the only enemy we know at the moment in this game is the uh, is the Korra. And uh, to be honest, you need avatars and Yehat ships and stuff like that to face them, so not worth sort of wasting a, a siren ship on enemies that are extremely powerful and therefore need to be tackled with powerful ships. Okay, so let's head over there now. Looks like it's going to cost a good 63 or so fuel. Uh, 
Let's save the game because if it doesn't turn out to be anything there, it could be a bug that they just happen to be there on the map. Um, I'm not completely sure. It might not be a bug. That's, that's the whole point. We're going to go and find out because it looks like they're in exactly the same location, like on the hyperspace map, as they were in the original game. Like not in the exact like next to the same star systems, but like in the same you know location as the old uh, hyperspace map relative to the screen. If you know what I mean. Um, that sort of top left area, just below the top left area, below where the Slylandro is, you know, that sort of area. Um, so, let's go and see! Um, that was a very chill episode, and uh, next episode we're going to go and see if the Araloo are really there.